Hi, welcome to Ned's Garden. Right now we're out here in Long Island and it's the fall, so it's time for us to dig up our bulbs and bring them inside for the winter. When I say bulbs, I'm referring technically to rhizomes, corms, and tubers. So these are our lilies, our dahlias, our gladiolas, our alocasias, um, all sorts of tropical and subtropical plants. Uh, there's three steps in wintering our bulbs. The first one is to dig them up, the second is to cure them, and the third is to store them for winter. So I've gone ahead and dug up these dahlias right here, um, and you can see we have these nice big clumps. Um, when you're digging them up, it's more like an excavation. You want to give them some space and really give a wide berth when you're digging up your bulbs, because over the summer they have the opportunity to double in size, which is great because it means you can get twice as many flowers each year. Um, I've accidentally gone and knocked off some of these parts of the bulb and you can either compost these or you can store them. This probably will not flower next year when I plant it, but um, you know it might grow and it might double and turn into a, a bigger bulb and eventually I'll probably get some flowers off of it. So I'm going to hang on to these. After you've dug up your bulbs, the next step is to cure them. Um, these have just been freshly dug up so they still have a lot of moisture on them and I don't want to go ahead and store them yet because they might be susceptible to rot. So over here I have some canna lilies and I've just laid these out on a tray and I'm going to keep them somewhere warm um, and dry. It could be a closet, a garage, anything like that um, for about a week so that they have the opportunity to completely dry out. And some people keep the foliage on for this, uh, this stage because it allows those last remaining nutrition, uh, nutrients from the plant to go back into the bulbs. Um, after that, you can cut off any remaining foliage or plant part and you can just keep the bulbs. The last step is to store the bulbs. Um, generally, people do this in boxes. Um, right here, I have a box that I've filled with hay. Um, you can store your bulbs in just about anything. You can store them in peat moss or um, perlite. Um, I've stored these in wrapped paper. Um, the point is you just want somewhere nice and dry for the bulbs to, uh, to sit somewhere um, that they will not be exposed to moisture, that they can get some light airflow, um, and they can just be dormant over the winter in this space. So. Once these are done curing, what I'll do is I will go and just lay them in this hay, um, space them out so that they're not touching because if they touch, they could um, expose uh, the other bulbs to moisture and to fungus and we wouldn't want them to rot. After I lay down a few of these, I'll go and add another layer of hay or newspaper or whatever you're using to insulate them. And then I can go and place my second layer. I can add my next layer of straw and so forth. When I'm done, I'll put some hay or final insulating layer on top, I'll close it up, and then I will uh, label this box with the species name and the color so that in spring when I'm ready to plant, I know what I have here um, and I can lay out my garden. Anyway, this is how we winter our bulbs. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ned, your host. Um, you can follow us on YouTube at Ned's Garden or on Instagram at Ned's Garden 69. Thanks.